This by far was the most expensive mushroom I've ever physically seen with my own two eyes. Welcome everyone to Story Saturday and today I'm sharing with you guys a story about a fish and coral show that I went to a couple weeks ago. So as many of you know I'm a saltwater enthusiast. I have corals, I have a clam, I have fish, I have a saltwater aquarium in my bedroom. I really like the hobby and I've been into it for about eight to ten years now. One thing however I have never gone to because there's never really been one near me was a coral frag swap show. It's basically like a farmer's market but instead of trading vegetables you're trading corals and people grow corals for the entire year and they go to these shows and they sell them off and some people use them to have a store while other people just sell the coral to have less of an impact on their wallet and the hobby. Anyways I have this magazine here and I never knew it's called Coral Magazine and I never knew that there was a frag trade show, a frag swap that was up in my area. And it's been going on for a couple years, but this was the only time that it was ever advertised in this magazine. So luckily I was able to see the advertisement in the magazine and I ended up going down to the frag show with my girlfriend Amanda a couple weeks ago, like I was saying. So this frag swap was held at a school right near the University of Connecticut. And if you could picture any school that you guys have ever gone into, just imagine all the desks, all the chairs, everything being removed from individual classrooms and being filled with fish tanks. I mean, this was awesome. This was a crazy, crazy thing. It was so cool. Every single room had at least 10 fish tanks in it. I'm saying every single room on the first floor of this high school had aquariums in it. On top of that, the hallways in between each classroom were filled with other people selling more corals, more fish, supplies for the aquarium. It was just Something I never would have imagined that would have happened up here. I, I figured this was something that would only happen out in California, only happen down in Florida, maybe Texas, but not here in Massachusetts. Anyways, according to the vendors, they got there on Friday. They were to set up the tanks. They spent all night setting up the tanks. This was held on a Saturday. And then Sunday, they had to take everything down and bring it back to wherever they were from. And there were people from all over the United States at this frag show selling their stuff and my thought of the whole thing was if they're sending all this stuff out here and they're they're selling it they're not going to want to send it back and pay you know shipping for both ways so i thought it'd be a better idea to go later on in the day maybe there'd be a few more deals you know granted i'm going to miss out on the really amazing pieces of coral right when the doors open that people are able to buy but I might save a couple bucks in the long run. So we waited to go down there until it was about halfway over. And when we went in there, I was just surprised. I mean, I walked around this place like a kid in a candy store. I must have walked into every room about six times and still was seeing things that I didn't see any of the previous six times that I was in there. By far one of the coolest things that I have ever gone to. I started going around and making some deals with people, buying some corals here and there. And there was this one table set up in the hallway that seemed to have a lot of people over by it and the guy seemed to have a lot of transactions going on. So I took a quick peek inside of the fish tank that he had set up and he had a vast array of coral in there priced anywhere from $5 to like $250, $300. So I kind of scooted my way over to the least highest price items in the tank, you know, the cheapest items that were there. And I was kind of looking at them and, you know, just seeing, well, this person had this one for $10. He's got it for 7 That might be a good idea to just buy it now instead of going back over there and trying to haggle with the other guy. So the guy could see I was interested in the corals because I was standing there for about 10 minutes looking at the stuff. And he had in this little basket a bunch of mushrooms. And to me, they look like redactus mushrooms. I'll put a picture of mine up here. I have a green redactus mushroom, and that's what they look like. So there's a couple other things in that bin that were marked for like $10.00. $15, $30. So I'm like, how much do you want for that orange? It looked like an orange Rodactus mushroom there. I said, how much do you want for that one? And he said, make me an offer. So I'm thinking like, the guy's probably got it marked for like $15 to $20. I'm just going to start on the low end because I can always work my way up. So I said five. And just like that, the guy looked at me like I was from another planet. The guy looked at me like I was from... I don't even know where, but not from around here. And he kind of just goes with a chuckle. <laughs> five, five dollars? <laughs> Add another 300 onto that. And I just kind of look at Amanda, because she's with me, like standing right here watching this whole thing. And I'm like, there's, there's no way that mushroom is 
$305, $405. There's no way that little mushroom is that expensive. So I'm like sitting there, I'm like, come on, like, Really, you, you have this in the bin with all the stuff that's marked as the cheapest stuff in your tank. Why is that so expensive next to all the cheap stuff? So he says, oh, come on, make me make me a reasonable offer. And I'm thinking, okay, 15. Oh, no, no. I have to add another 80 onto it, the guy says. So I'm sitting there thinking, this, this little mushroom, like this big, he wants like $90 for this thing. There's no way that's happening. There's no way I'm spending $90 for something that small. I didn't even know what it was. I thought it was a green, or I thought it was an orange redactus mushroom, but I just, I didn't know. So eventually I ended up just walking away and the guy kept saying, oh, come on, make me a reasonable offer. Make me a reasonable offer. I felt like, I don't know. I felt like I was kind of getting scammed or something along those lines. So we kept walking around and about a half an hour later, we found another tank with the same mushroom in it. So I'm looking at all the different corals that, he, that they have in front of this tank here. And they have a bunch of Aikens, which are these, and they have a couple other like hard stony corals, like SPSs, these things right here. But there's that mushroom again, and it's floating in this basket with a couple of other things that are, you know, $5, $10, $15. So the lady that was behind the fish tank, I asked her, how much do you want for that mushroom there? And she says, five. Five dollars. Okay, that's awesome. So I said, I'll take that, and I'll take that and that that you also have in the tank. So the grand total was like $25 with the, the two items I bought, and the mushroom. So she's over there bagging everything up and Amanda says to me, I think she meant 500. And I said, no, no, she said five. She said, this is five. Everything in there is cheap. I'm like, I'm like, no. So anyway, she's bagging everything up. I have $25 ready to go. I took it out of my wallet. I go to hand it to her. She starts handing it over, sees the 20 and the five, and then pulls the stuff back. And she goes, oh, I think there was a misunderstanding. This mushroom is 500 hundred dollars five hundred dollars this one was even smaller than the first one that we saw and it was even more expensive so not wanting to be a a dick about it i ended up buying the other corals that she already had bagged up because they were nice and i have them in my tank now but at the same time i don't know what the heck this mushroom is everybody had this thing priced so expensive i never seen it before i've been in this hobby for like eight to ten years i've never seen this thing before stuff comes and goes where it's just so overpriced right when it comes around and then everybody buys it everybody grows it everybody trades it and all of a sudden the stuff is worth nothing so not wanting to go out there and risk spending that much money on something that could be worth a dollar two years from now i just i left it at that i still don't know what that mushroom is i spent some time looking online to see if i could figure out what it was but to no avail was i able to find it so if any of you guys know saltwater corals or the saltwater trade you know what i'm talking about it's a a redact it looked like a redactus mushroom, but it was like orange. It was like a bright, almost the sun color orange. Like this one I have right here. Instead of green, it was orange. I don't know. Like I said, if you guys know what it is, comment down below because I'd love to find out more about this mushroom and why it is so expensive. Anyways, guys, that's just my story from the Coral Show a couple weeks ago. I can't wait to go back there next year when they have one. If you guys know of any other ones up in the New England area, please let me know. I know there's one coming up in Rhode Island in a couple of weeks. I plan on attending that one, but if there's anything else that you guys know of, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this crazy story about this most expensive mushroom I've ever seen, hit the thumbs up button. I'll see everybody on Monday for My Tech Monday. Peace.